So crazier news comes out about Dr. Disrespect. I don't know how true this is. So apparently, Dr. Disrespect was reported by Twitch to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children when they were illegally recording whispers by the doc back in 2017. A full investigation was authorized and no wrongdoing was found and no illegal activity took place by Dr. Disrespect. No arrests were made, no charges were filed. Thus, adding more weight that Dr. Disrespect is innocent and this is indeed looking like a witch hunt by ex-Twitch employee to frame Dr. Disrespect. Apparently, the person that started releasing this stuff is trying to frame him. Let's read on. Unconfirmed. This is not confirmed yet. It is also reported that the minor was actually a former Twitch employee pretending to be a 17-year-old girl and trying to bait Dr. Disrespect with entrapment techniques while the ex-Twitch mods illegally recorded it all. They were all fired soon after and sued by Dr. Disrespect's legal team. They are very bitter over this and why this whole thing is coming out for the second time after it has already been dealt with. Now, I don't know if that second part is true, but here's the problem I'm having with Twitch. Other Twitch employees also came out saying the app has a lot of pedo people, a lot of them doing stuff like this. Like re not, not, not like Dr. Disrespect where he messaged one chick and like whatever, almost 18. There's a lot of actual pedos in that app that message kids and they keep it all hidden. They never release it. They don't even report people. It is really bad. And this is coming from employees that used to work there. But Twitch doesn't say anything because do they don't want to lose money. Another problem I have with Twitch is that how many only fan girls are on Twitch? How many e-girls that are like literally half nude today are on Twitch and targeting minors, children? And what do they do about that? Nothing. Why? Because they're going to get views and they're going to get money. Here's another thing. Nick Merckx, Tim the Tatman, right after this all happened, this is what they said. They turned their back. I called it. Absolutely insane. Called it. His friends were going to turn his back on him. I have known Doc for a while now. We've played games for years. And, um... Hot tub streams? No, I don't want to. Everything that is probably right. right now is a uh, very difficult thing for me personally. And I'm sure for a lot of y'all out there. I think for me, I know a lot of you are asking, Tim, what are you feeling? Tim, what are you feeling? My bottom line, Queso I think, is build. <laughs> Not Queso. if what he is saying where he said that he was messaging a minor and it would sometimes lead to teeter on inappropriate if he knew that was a minor and those were the messages being sent i cannot support that i can't i appreciate y'all i am this is beat me up but this is unfortunate to say the least this is awful so the, the, appreciate you guys thank you for the love you give and uh the crazy part about this is that i understand why he did it he's trying to make sure that the public doesn't that knows that he doesn't support that he's not gonna like have him as have his back whatever my issue is like if something like this happens that hopefully never happens to me because i would never do something stupid like that if something like this happens to me i would hope that my friends Talk to me first, not go online to make a public statement on how they don't have my back. You know what I mean? <laughs> like true friends would just text you or at least give me a heads up like, yo, and maybe he did. I doubt it. But it's like it's stuff like this that makes me realize like a lot of the social media friendships are all crap. They're all they're all based on how many views you get. And the moment things go south, they'll throw you to the wolves, man. This guy also made a statement on him right here supposedly his friend i'm seeing everything on twitter and uh i read through doc's tweet and in that very tweet 
Uh, Nick he Mertz. basically confirms that, you know, he was texting an underage girl and it went weird sometimes, you know, and, and look, just to, just to be blunt and straightforward, man, I, it, that's, that's inexcusable. It's unacceptable, right? Uh, there's no excuse for something like that. And, and I can't support it. Hang on, honey. Doing this, I'm talking to Twitter. I can't support it. I can't defend it. And, uh, Look, the boys and I are torn up over it too, man, because we played a lot of games with the guy and, and it feels a little weird, but what can you do, you know? So I, just want so I get that. He releases a public statement saying he doesn't support it. I, I could support that. What I don't like that he did after, you would think after that statement, he's done. But no, 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 my friend. How, how he put it in his tweet. But what, what, what did it say? That the texts were, would sometimes go a certain way? Yeah, he edited the tweet three times. Just, just so bad. It's so bad, you guys. Now, I don't, I don't disagree with him. The whole situation is, it's, it's crap. It's hard a situation to be in. But like, if one of my friends is like, I'm his friend, and then five seconds later, I don't even know that guy. I just took a picture with him, and he was in a wig. We're not that close. We're not like best friends. It's like, bro, I, I play with you every day. I talk to you every day. Like, like, what do you mean? How do you just all of a sudden make our relationship seem like it was nothing? Regardless of what mistake I made. Like, if my, if my friend makes a mistake like that, the first thing I'm going to tell him is, you're a piece of shit. You fucked up. You should not be doing stuff like this. You need to fix whatever problems you're dealing with. I cannot, you know, be associated with it. And I'm not going to bad mouth talk to you about you and... In, in the public, like, I would not do that to someone. But the fact that they're so quick to be like, they're not, he wasn't even my friend. We played video games together. It's like, bro, like, what? The crazier thing about Nick Merckx is that now he's in huge trouble. Nick Merckx had a video where he talks about transgender people. So whatever, I, I, it doesn't bother me. You know, I, I feel a certain way about all that. And I've said my piece, and I will remind these people that, again, the little dream fantasy bullshit that they're living in is not real life. And not everybody has to dance to their tune. That's not how that works. You don't get to go around and point your finger in people's chests and say, hey, you live in my world. You think the way that I think. You believe the way that I believe. No, no, no. That's not how that works. That's not how that works. It, it, it never has been, and it never will be. So if you guys want to live like that, go ahead. Do, do what you want to do. Not me. So basically what he's talking about, LGBTQ and being trans and all that stuff, it's, it's, it's made up. It's fake. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't believe in it. Which is cool. You can, you can have your, your opinion and, and, you know, say what you want about that. But he had multiple streams after that where his community or people in the community would come in and ask him questions. And he started saying the word, I'm not going to say it because apparently it's a slur, which I didn't even know. T-R-A-N-N-Y. Apparently he got banned for using the word T-R-A-N-N-Y from Twitch. And instead of apologizing, he doubled down. He's like banned for using a word on Twitch. Apparently that's a derogatory term. That's on me. Next time, I'll use mental health disorder. So he didn't even apologize. He does not care. He's like so anti all of that stuff. But yeah, he's officially banned from Twitch. To be fair, I didn't know this was a derogatory term myself. I thought this was like saying gay, homosexual. To me, I thought it was the same thing. You know what I mean? So he kept saying it. He got banned for it. It's like calling them the N-word. I thought it was just like saying trans. So... He didn't know, but the problem was that he kept saying it and he kept talking shit about the community where they canceled him from Twitch, which is kind of annoying at the same time because it's like, I think people should have the right to kind of have their opinion on whatever things they believe in without getting canceled from places, um, especially if they don't even know that it's a, it's a bad word to say. But I think people should be allowed to say what they want. It's going to hurt people's feelings sometimes. And it you know has a double-edged sword. But it's better to be able to speak on what you believe in than, than be filtered or you know censored by the media. Which is what's happening a lot of times. So I don't necessarily agree with Nick Merckx in terms of what he did with the Dr. Disrespect thing. But I also don't believe he should be canceled from Twitch because of a word he said that he didn't even know was a bad word. So hopefully he figures that out.
I hate to see creators get canceled over over something like that. It's kind of crazy. The dog, hopefully he comes back. He's not lost any followers. This dude still has 2.5 million followers from the, from the day he left till now. So his fans aren't leaving. So when he comes back, he's going to have the biggest interview comeback of all time probably it's gonna be crazy whoever whoever gets on an interview with him first is going to have millions and millions of views check out Lacey though look at this nice sky to meet you. oh yeah you all know each other yeah you made me cry when we stream together oh you an asshole no my chat made her cry that's crazy my chat made her cry it's because What's he kept muting himself and so my kids stops coming to mind being like yeah. he's talking shit on you right now like chat saying you're stupid and they made, they made me cry and i got on Lacey is low-key hitting up like all of Clix's like exes and people he always brought on the stream. <laughs> uh, that's just kind of funny.